G'day, I'm Noam Distiller and today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of a modification I made to my C6 lathe. It's given me an extra uh, about 32 millimeters um, per side of uh, workable area. Um, it can this lathe can swing a uh, uh, can swing nine inches or turn nine inches. Sorry. Um, but you can only work on about three, maybe four inches of it. Through, uh, from memory, I think it was three. Um, I couldn't turn this pulley um, with the uh, lathe as it was. After the modifications, I could do this quite easily. In fact, the uh, the last video set of videos I did with the um, back plate, I don't think you'd be able to do that um, turning without this modification. Um, this allows you to turn um, a part that will just clear the cross slide. Um, and uh, I'll just give you a quick squeeze at this pulley actually. This is a, uh, if I can find my pattern. Um, which is just here. This is actually from a 3D printed, here we go, from a 3D printed pattern um, that I designed in SolidWorks. This is the, um, the pattern that's actually missing one of the pins, but uh, let's see. Um, you can just, I mean, you can actually see the, uh, the print lines uh, here, I mean, you can see them there, but these print lines in here, and they actually still show up in the pattern. And that's, so that's pretty good uh, resolution in the casting sand, and that's my homemade casting sand, so... So there you go, it's another use for uh, 3D printing. Um, now I did find with this that you need to adjust the adjust the draft. Um, I had to give it quite a lot of draft um, to get it to pull cleanly. And I think that was like, that's actually due to, if it was sanded or um, even uh, vapor smoothed where you put it in acetone vapor and it, it actually slightly melts the surface and the surface tension makes it go almost looks like a um, uh, almost makes it look like a um, injection molded part but you do lose some um, dimension and that kind of stuff when you do it um, yeah, that would enable you to probably keep a standard draft angle, but I think I had to use seven degrees of draft on this um, to get it to pull out very cleanly. Um, but yeah, it's quite a quite a nice way of doing it. As I said, if you can clean this up a bit first, it makes it a lot easier. But um, yeah, it's a good way of making some patterns. I mean that that would be a very annoying and relatively hard pattern to make in wood especially with such fine spokes but as you can see it's worked out fairly well. So this is the modification that I've made to this uh, C6 C glaive to give me an extra 32 millimeters of swing, um, well, not total swing on the lathe, but work work area, um, I can move my cross slide back an extra 32 millimeters. So I uh, added this block here, and I also milled out a section in the top of the carriage. I'll remove the the, um, the cross slide. 
to show you what I, the modifications that I've done to to give me a bit more um, work area with the cross light. Um, as you can see, originally that was about as far back as the cross light would go, and now I can go all the way back to to there. Um, although it does get a little bit firm, but um, so we'll take the cross light off, and I'll show you the uh, modifications that I've done inside. So we're looking at the lead screw here on the cross light. Uh, this line here that I've scored is so I can uh, know when the lead screw is at the end of the nut or it's about to um, start disengaging from the nut. Um, and basically what I've done here, originally this casting um, ran, this casting ran to here. Um, so that was solid cast there. Um, so I've milled out a pocket here. So this, this lets the nut, um, rather than the nut hitting here, it can move all the way back before it hits up here. Um, so that's, so between, between that, well basically just with this cast, uh, or with this modification, I think you gain maybe one, um, centimeter of swing or two centimeters of total um, part size um, but uh, with this and that um, it gives you uh, six and a half centimeters of extra machinability basically um, it's not a very hard hard thing to do I mean I did um, mill this to a um, same pattern as the original. Sorry, that's a bit out of shot. Uh, yeah, so I machined this to match the, um, the basic profile of that. It doesn't match exactly, but it's only for uh, for looks. So um, I did get a bit of a crappy surface finish on it, but I didn't have a uh, um, fly cutter at the time to get a better finish. That was basically the end mill that I had at the time. Um, I've also done a little bit of scraping on the ways. Um, I didn't do a very good job, um, but it has improved it quite a lot. That's it from me, and uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, drop a comment down below. Um, that would be good. So thanks for watching.